um, I think it was October 15th, it was a Friday, and it was my first night here, the kids were gone, they weren't here with me, um, I was unpacking boxes and getting ready to go to bed, and uh, went to sleep as all the lights were off, and um, I heard my door downstairs in my porch open, I heard a creak, and then I heard it shut. Then I heard steps, big heavy footsteps coming up the stairs. It sounded to me like a man. And then I heard those footsteps come all the way down my hall. I don't know if I was awake or if I was sleeping, but as soon as uh, my bedroom door opened and then shut, my eyes shot open. My bed is on the wall and I was sleeping facing towards the window. So the, at my actual bedroom door was at my back. Um, so I couldn't see, but I felt like I was encased in concrete. Encased in concrete. I know I was scared, but my heart wasn't racing. I couldn't move. I felt my eyes just shattering. They were going back and forth, back and forth. Like I was panicking, but I wasn't. I, I couldn't move. I was paralyzed almost with fear. It was like 30, 45 seconds maybe, and then it was gone. My heart just started racing because I think it, it was the whole time, but I was like frozen stiff for a minute. And I turned around to see if anyone was there, and, and no one was there. So, these pom-poms, I made them to kind of give like the bubbly feel to my underwater mermaid experience bathroom. But this one tends to spin, and it spins, and spins, and spins, and this one won't move. Uh, this room is the coldest, like I said. Uh, I can turn the heat up, and I still freeze. I was getting shower and I got out and I was wrapped in my towel and I wanted to blow dry my hair and so I was like right here and because my dryer plugs in here so I had my hair down and I was drying and drying all of a sudden my towel yanks at the back to the point that I whipped my hair up spun around almost fell back because I was like what was that literally it felt like someone tried to pull my towel right off of me and yeah I put my stuff down in a way I Myra, my daughter, just recently told me that she was using the washroom and felt someone touch her back. She was nervous and a little shy and timid to come tell me, so she did. She did. She was. Uh, her voice was really soft when she she came. She's like, "Mom, I gotta tell you something." It felt like someone touched me, and, and you could hear her nervousness when she was telling me. So I told her, "I said, if you feel anything again, anywhere." Uh, just tell them to stop. I said, say it out loud. They don't touch me. I don't like that. You're not allowed to touch me. So this is the hallway leading into my room where um, I heard that noise of the man. I say a man because the thud sounds coming up the stairs sounded heavy, like work boots, like a man in work boots. Since then, um, I get up every hour on the hour. I'm woken up every hour on the hour. I leave um my dimmer lights down to the lowest possible setting so that i have some light in here my hall light is always on um as of recently i was up here unpacking some more boxes and um my kids lights i usually keep them off but i was um i felt like someone was watching me so i went in i turned their lights on too all on um but there was still i still felt that sense so I shut the door and put this up against it and that's how I sleep at night. So I was coming up to go to the bathroom one night and I went to go around like this and I seen this black ball. It was just a black ball right there. It was so dark, so dark that when I went in I had to swoon and twirl around it so I wouldn't trip over it. I kind of thought it was a cat <laughs> and I turned the light on and I went and there was nothing there. I come back out, I shut the light back off, and I looked back down, and that black spot was gone. I could see the floor, I could see all the grains, and I'm like, well, why was there a black spot there? A mass, like it, a black ball, and it's not there now. I was sitting here, and I was writing an experience that I had in my book. And football was on, and I could hear it in the living room. And I was just sitting here, and all of a sudden, it's like, I heard a radio and it was right here behind my ear and my ear started echoing. It was right there. I heard it was so loud, so clear, but I couldn't make it words. I had no idea what it was saying. It sounded like right. It was right there. I turned my head, the noise followed behind my ear. 
I got up and I'm like, it's echoing. It's like trying to pull it off of my ear so I can get the noise away because it was like right in my inner ear. And then all of a sudden it was gone. Ashes to ashes, you will all fall down. Hey guys, welcome back to Ashes to Ashes. Um, You've just seen a little bit about this place, so I'm not going to get into anything else. So we're just going to jump right into it. Tonight, I will show up in the attic. I am going to, for the first time ever, um, do a sensory deprivation. I'm going to have my eye. I'm going to be blindfolded, just using my ears. When I was here last time uh, for the initial interview, um, I had a box move me, move on me up in the attic, and uh, the homeowner, as I was coming down, seen a ball of light shoot across. Um, the back behind me right where the box had moved so I'm going to go up there tonight blindfolded just my hearing and uh, hopefully catch something for you all right let's get into this mm -hmm. anybody here that would like to talk you can talk through my device that I have in my hand Good. yeah I heard you you know who's, you know who's with me right now Yeah, well, yeah. 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 First time I heard the last name. You know who's with me? Yeah. 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 Go where? I did How many people are here? How many spirits? Ten. Ten? Are you young? Are you old? Are you a mixture of both? <coughs> are you upset because somebody's living in your house? What's your name? I want one name. So we didn't have just before we had a chance to actually turn everything on, get everything ready. Um, Chris already witnessed the uh, balls of light that um, happened upstairs from the attic behind me. And we've been hearing some noises since we got here. Uh, hard to explain the way it's actually. 
I'm actually sounding like styrofoam being twisted that squeaky sound you get from styrofoam. You heard that in the basement, so we'll go down to the basement shortly. So we're using ghost tube guys to see if uh, anything is going to come through, but we will be, uh, Chris will be using this again later while I'm up in the attic. So far it said day. Not sure if it means anything or if it's just trying to figure out how to use it. Does anybody want to say anything here in the living room? You can talk into this device. Use the word bank that's available. Also, if you want to come over and touch this, we'll know that you're touching it. As you can see, it makes that noise if you get close to it. Put your hand right over it. Can you tell us why you're here? Does nobody want to talk here in the living room? Okay guys, we're going to head to the basement now. And then upstairs. Uh, I'm lost. What? I'm lost. almost peed my pants. What the... No, All I was just furnace. thinking like the furnace is going to be like super loud. We'll wait till the furnace kicks out because it's going to be loud down there. So, Who's lost? Do you want us to help you? If he wants to help you, let us know. Yeah. If you still want to talk to us, follow us up here. Nothing in there you want to show it. Just to. Okay. We're way in here, guys. Chris is in the other room asking questions. This is the bathroom. When I was here the other day, um, I had this main camera with me. And uh, when she was trying to tell me her story on camera about what was happening to her in this bathroom, uh, I would come through, I would start recording her here, and as I just past this threshold my camera would shut down and it did it like oh it had to be four five times so if you notice in the video I had to switch to my phone it didn't do it to my phone but it was only when I passed this threshold my camera would shut off dead I'd have to restart it out here in the hall it would be fine I'd walk through this threshold and shut off so I had to actually put this camera away. <clears throat> Did you oh now I thought you were in there because I just heard something walking in there. That's why I looked in there first. In this room. This is her little girl's room. I don't want anything to be in there at all. I got, wouldn't be right if I, I hope she doesn't kill me for anything on this. But. Just blankets, guys. Jumpy. What? Jumpy. <laughs> I know, it's something about this place. This isn't the most jumpy I've been. 
Wait till I get upstairs in that attic. So this is the daughter's room, you guys. We haven't, she hasn't had anything happen that she knows of in here. Um, at least nothing that her daughter's told her. This is her son's room. You were in here? Yep. Okay, nothing? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, the activity mainly up here is in there and in her bedroom. Can you tell us something? Who's up here with us? Shut off. Now's probably a good time to go down and yeah. get down there quickly. Okay, guys. Now that the furnace shut off, we can hear down there. We're heading to the basement. Bite not. That bite not. Yeah. Is it okay to go in the basement? Is it safe? Sounds like someone's walking around. You hear that breathing there, Bob? Yeah, I can hear that. Can you move something or knock on something or tap, scratch, scream, something to let us know that you uh, can hear us and see us? I'll have to check the camera. Really, to see if that chair was pulled out. Just give us a sign. Put a, put my shoes on. Why did you come? What? It says, why did you come? <clears throat> we come to talk to you. Of course. We mean no harm at all. We're a friend of the homeowners and she wanted just to get help to get some answers of why you guys are here and who exactly is here. It seems you, like every time we go to the I know. basement. So we have something. Well let's go down. Yes. I just wanted to see if I was casting a shadow. That's not the same shadow I just seen walk across the door. It was only as high as the doorknob. Mm -hmm. I'll check the camera later, see if I was pointing in that direction. All right, guys, we're going to go downstairs. Now, I will tell you, when I was down here the other day, I had no problem in that room. Yeah. I had no problem here. But on the other side of this wall, there's a wood pile. And it's almost like something was trying to hide. We thought we'd get down here, guys, before the furnace kicked back on, but for some reason, it kicked on pretty fast. So I hope it doesn't make too much noise. If you're in here, can you tap on something or hit something yeah that is just the sub pump room yeah I'll just sub pump and the wall just stops right over there in that corner 
comes under the steps. Is there anything down here? Can you tell us either physically or with that phone? Why are you here? Let's see. stop. feeling over there. Now I don't get it. I'm not getting it. It's all right. Hmm? I'm not pinching myself. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Getting anything? Yeah. That's where I was standing when I was getting it. I didn't want to tell you exactly where I was standing, but that's where I was standing the other day. Can you move something on this table? I'm right at the edge of the table, guys, so I'm trying to get everything in this shot. Can you move something? I know I just said that. For us, please. Give us a big noise. <clears throat> or are you even down here? Where should we go in the house to find you or find somebody or something? We'll come back down if you want us to. <clears throat> oh, it's getting closer and closer to that time right now. Alrighty. Huh? Yeah, it's Not what? Responding back to your question. Yeah, not. We're going to try another uh, method of communication. Maybe you can talk through that. Anything you'd like to say to the homeowner?
sounds like something's trying to form. You've been visiting them at night? What's that? Who just made the noise? We're here. Those are going to be. You will bet the rest of the night. Who's moving over here? Can you give us a sign? Let me know you are over here. Yeah. I'm sitting next to me on the bed. If you want to talk, I'm sitting on the bed. Come sit next to me. Is there anything you'd like us to let the homeowner know? Your last name. Go back to the back and check that. Yeah. Your last name. Are you able to live here or stay here with this homeowner? Staying in this house too. I think they're just fingers. Are you in here? So guys, just now when we were in the homeowner's room, I looked in here, and I thought I seen this from in there. I thought I seen something like this, and when I looked, it brought its hand back. Enough to make my heart skip a beat. <clears throat> Is there anybody anybody in this room? Okay, guys. Uh, the moment I've been dreading. I don't know why I make promises like that, but anyway, I'm gonna blindfold. Once I get upstairs and settled, I'm going to blindfold myself, turn all the lights off. I'm going to run uh, night vision for you guys to see um, if you see anything. If I miss it and 
when I watch it back, you guys please point it out. Now there is a, I call them, a lot of people call them whirly birds, the air circulators in the attic, so you might hear that. Just a heads up. Okay, here we go. So, this is where I'm going to be. It's kind of a tight fit up here, guys. You can see that I gotta get closer to the center. And take a quick peek around so you guys can see that I should be alone. And I'll do it fast, so you know, no one is with me. I'm not exactly sure where I could get this back up, so I'm not putting it down. I just got to be really careful. So, without further ado, as you guys can see, Honestly, just for a quick check, I can't see nothing up here anyway. So, I'm going to pan Let's see if I can uh, find a spot to prop this. I did bring my tripod, but I forgot my actual stand that goes on top of it. <clears throat> Is there anything you would like to say? I know you like to come in here and visit the homeowner. Is there anything you'd like to say while I'm in here? Give me a word. Restless. Who's restless? And why? Is that why you like to visit in the bed? Because you're restless? Again, guys, I am blindfold it okay. is there anything up here with me oh my gosh I don't even think I have to ask that can you give me a sign that you're up here with me without hurting me I'm gonna pan around guys so you can see If you guys see anything, please let us know in the comments below. And let us know if you want me to do this more often. If there's something here, can you come up and touch my hand? Or move something, make a noise, bang on something?
Could you move something up here? Knock on something? Now I think I'm pointing in the right direction somewhere. There was a box moved when I was up here the other day just standing on the steps. Could you do that again? There's a knock right beside me guys. I'm just kind of pointing the camera into the direction I'm hearing things. Or if I hear anything I'll point in that direction. But my head is straight. Can you make a noise? Could, could, could you tell you tell me why you're here? Are you trapped here? Could you throw something, please? Guys, if I had my Fitbit on, you would see my heart is just beating a mile a minute. Because it does not feel like I'm by myself. That's for sure. I'm going to point the camera behind me. Because it feels like there's something breathing on my neck. I don't know if it's a breeze. But if it's a breeze, it's a warm one. Are you behind me? Can you pull on my shirt or something? Please to let me know you're here. I'm just moving up and down because my I'm on my my knees. It's a little hard. I won't be here long. We won't be here long, so uh, please try to communicate with us somehow. Something very distinctive or distinct. A bang, a movement. Show yourself on my camera even though I can't see it right now. And if I'm pointing in the right direction, I should be looking at a corner. There we go. I heard you. My gosh, my heart. What did you move? Did you move it again? Guys, if you hear thumping on the camera, it's my heart. Still blindfolded, I got both hands on the camera. Can you move it again? And 
Chris guys is downstairs filming on the ghost tube app. I'm going to try to sync that up as best I can to show you that he's doing his thing while I'm doing mine. Oh, it's getting harder to breathe up here. Are you around me? Can you show me you're around me? I have to go soon, so uh, can you uh, uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Uh, let me let me know you're here. This something distinct. Something like something like Something like I hear I heard a big sigh. If you're getting tired of me being up here with you, all you gotta do is bang on something or move something and I'll leave. Please be nice to the homeowner that's here. She is good people. Her kids are great. Please be nice and watch over them. Please do not harm them. If you are here to harm them, you are not welcome here and you must leave. Not with me, not with Chris, but you must leave this house if you have ill intentions. Okay guys, I'm getting I'm getting really dizzy. I'm up on my knees. I think I'm pointing at my knees. So I'm going to get down out of here before I uh, I fall down the steps. So, I'll see you in two seconds once I get this mask off. Okay, guys, um, we're gonna call it tonight. We got a lot of evidence to go through. Uh, we can still, I know we're leaving this place and it just feels like what we do is unfinished. It feels like we should come back and I know we do have permission to come back if she wants us to, um, if we want to. So uh, I'm going to keep in touch with the homeowner, see if anything else changes, or if it gets worse, it gets better. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to head out, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Get your on.